What is up and how's everybody doing? Love me, hate me, speaking the truth. It's whatever, right? You know, I want to do a lot of things lately here. And uh, one of the things is talking about my old jobs and stuff like that, you know, where I used to work at and uh, let people know about some things. Then I want to uh, do some uh, take it to work Charleston and let people see uh, Charleston, West Virginia. I want to work out something and uh, show people how serious cyberbullying could be and uh, harassment and uh, open a lot of people's eyes on a lot of things. Lately I've just been wanting to give up on a lot of things. And the reason is, is I can't win for losing. I get threatened to get my channel taken down for opening my mouth. And it's like, this is America and you should be able to speak your mind and be able to do something. But people want to threaten to copyright strike your channel and taking it down. They want to shut you up. And act like you don't have a freedom of speech. I've never fought as hard as I have on the internet. I normally just run away and just say, F it, I don't care, or anything at all. I don't know why it's making me care as much as it is here. You think that you know people when you try to do right things and you find out that you don't know them exactly or you don't know how they really are, if you know what I mean. Like the whole situation when the Haggy Rants and um, Jesse Ridgeway and Pickle Boy was going at it. I get in the middle of it calling out Haggy Rants. I didn't want Pickle Boy or Jesse Ridgeway to get messed with or anything like that by Haggy Ranson the way they were treating them guys. I didn't think it was right. Especially calling the laws and harassing the laws and doing all that and it was getting ridiculous. Everybody does things to hurt people. There's some people that actually do things to help people. All I want is my channel to be able to grow where I could be able to speak and speak the truth.
having stage 4 COPD kind of scares me in some ways and I have nothing to really do. I can't go outside because of the coronavirus and I got ideas to do for the videos while I'm inside but I'm worried if I hit a hunter my channel has gone where people will strike intentionally like they already have. And it's funny, like, when you tell people that your channel is getting falsely copyrighted, they say, just appeal, just appeal. No, I can't appeal or anything, because I appeal, they want my address, they want my telephone number, they want everything, so they can go ahead and blast it out, and they can have me squat it, or have cops come to my house, attention. can't do anything to YouTube you can't file a lawsuit against them or anything because of the fact that their lawyers said they're not held liable or anything for other youtubers on what they have done or anything that you have to sue them or do whatever you got to do and the rules that it says when you go and flag if it's necessary or harmful to call the cops and things like that you call the law they don't know what they're doing or they don't want to do anything I was in a gentleman's stream for a couple nights and I Mention who I was and everything. He never heard of me, which I'm kind of grateful about it. Because I figured if he heard of me, he'd probably be like, Get F out of here. You cause trouble. It's not the case. I don't cause problems. People make it look like I cause problems, and I don't cause a problem. There's a few people that love to troll me to death and love to harass me and constantly harass me and not stop. They could do it on the internet, but they wouldn't be able to do it to my face. I'll tell you one or two reasons why they wouldn't be able to do it to my face because I'll probably knock the crap out of them that's one and two they're mostly like this a lot of people are and they don't want to go to jail but they think what they're doing on the internet isn't against the law Harassing somebody, like a lot of y'all have harassed me, is against the law. You can get in a lot of major trouble. It's sad that police officers don't want to do anything, especially here in the state of West Virginia. And it's sad when you sit there and you talk to an officer and he's like, the Attorney General hasn't got back in touch with me yet or anything, and, and please send everything over email.
I'm not going to send things over to email or anything at all. Because I'm not trusting emails. Second, you would come to my place and talk to me face to face so I could show you. You could actually do your job. Some of you don't want to do your job. Some of you just don't care. Which I can't blame you because of the fact that as much hate y'all get. When are you all going to grow up? When are you all going to just let people do what they want to do instead of harassing or stalking? You could speak your mind, but not threat people. Or hurt people. I just don't understand anymore. The person that's having a little trouble, I hope you catch them. I really do. I don't want to say your name because. I don't want to have people going over there and hating your channel or anything because of me or stalking because of me. Because that's how some people are. I don't know if I'll ever get a thousand or I don't know if I ever get 2,000. I'm tired of fighting. Back. I'm feeling weak. Been getting sick. Stressful a lot. And every time I do a video I get threatened or they threaten my fiance and tell her to uh, get that retard off off or you suffer consequences too and which sucks really sucks People act like they care. But nobody cares anymore. But you'd care if it was here. I'm out. My next video I'll be talking about a job that I was working at. It was a security company about a couple of bosses and even where I was bullied there love me hate me speaking the truth I can't say subscribe because if you subscribe my channel is gone when it hits a hunter or sooner Much love.